Yeah. By uh, Joseph J. Williams. Yeah. He brings him over to Africa. All right. And we're going to go to page 297. Yeah. 297. Please. And let's read the following. So, John Ivy, Master of His Majesty, reveals in the Kingdom of Ireland, published in 1679, a volume on Africa, wherein he speaks of the coast of Guinea as the follows. Many Jews also are scattered over this region, some native boasting themselves of Abraham's seed, yet yeah, inhabiting both in the side of River Niger, 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 yeah. So he says that many Jews are scattered over there, yeah. Talking about, yeah, the coast of Guinea, yeah. Let me show y'all what the coast of Guinea is. Yeah. Now, as I said, I was going to show you what is um, the Guinean coast. What's in African history? I'm just going to check the map. The Guinean coast. To make sure we're not tripping. Yeah, so it extends from Senegal, yeah, all the way to Gabon and even Angola. Yeah, they miss in Angola. But in between, you see countries like Nandes, Cameroon, Nigeria, you also see Niger, or Niger, Ghana, Togo, Benin, yeah. Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, my country, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and all that. Yeah? So that is the Guinean coast. So when they say, and this is the same place where they took the slaves from. Yeah? These enslaved African people, the same place where, where they took them from. So here you go. Yeah? When they say the Jews were scattered up there, they're not tripping, so they know who we are, black people. The new Babylon Temple too, yeah. Let me build my case, please. Allow me. I know y'all want to watch the thing, but please, yeah, bear with me. Yeah, do not skip. <laughs> bear with me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's go to Babylon Temple two again, and we're gonna reach page uh, one hundred and thirty-two, and maybe one hundred and thirty-three. All right. So let's read that. These facts have peculiar significance when the presence of Judaism mm, again yeah among American Negroes is to be considered considered hundreds of thousands of slaves were brought to America from this Western Africa during the days of the traffic beginning nearly four hundred years ago yeah how much more of Judaism survived among West African Negroes? So, y'all keep saying, Oh, Africans are my enemies and all that. Yeah, y'all don't understand nothing. Anyway, in that earlier time, <clears throat> as a persecuted community, they were rather more in danger than other Negroes of being raided by war parties and sold as slaves. Yeah, y'all get it now? Alright, let's go to the other page. Let's read that. Before Dr. Goodby, Goodby uh, published his book, The Lost Tribes and Myth, Rabbi Matthew organized a Hebrew, a Hebrew congregation in 1918 and proclaimed that the black people of the United States and West Indies are the original black Hebrews. Mm. These are hundreds of thousands of black African Hebrews scattered throughout the United States, not only in the urban area, but also in the rural communities of this nation. With the revelation of an ample historical evidence, the authenticity, sorry, the authenticity of these black Hebrews can no longer be questioned. However, in regard to the purity of their Judaism among some of these Jews, that is another issue. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we want more proof. We're gonna check this interesting narrative of the life of Olada Okwano. So if you're Igbo from Nigeria and you're watching this, 
you already picked up the name, you already know. Yeah, this brother was an Igbo. Yeah, so this narrative is written by himself. He was a slave. Yeah, and got picked up from West Africa and then sent to West Indies and even London, I think, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so let's see what he has to say in page 18 about the costume of his tribe. We practice circumcision like the Jews and made offering and feast on that occasion in the same manner as they did. Let me jump down. I have before remarked that the native of this part of Africa, remember we just read about the Guinean coast and then the Hebrews, Jews scattered there, yeah? There we go. Okay. Of this part of Africa, I assume it cleansly. This necessary habit of decency was with us a part of a religion, and therefore we had many purifications and washing. Mm, indeed, almost as many, and used on the same occasions. If my recollection does not fail me, as the Jews. Once again, those that touch the dead at any time were obliged to wash and purify themselves before they could enter dwelling house. So, once again, yeah, they know who we are. This brother was a... There's more, yeah, but I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's teaser, yeah. This brother was a slave. Picked up from Nigeria. He was an Igbo, yeah. But he says, basically, I'm a Jew. <laughs> yeah, but to make sure that he's not tripping, let's read that book right here. Yeah, let's read that book right here. The Hebrew Church of Black Africa. Mm -hmm. In page 76. Yeah. And we read the following historical perspective. Is there evidence of a Hebrew civilization in Black Africa, the ancestral home of the Black Americans? Yes. Okay. Professor Joseph J. Williams of Boston College, who spent more than 11 years investigating, investigating says the ancient Hebrews are parents stuck. Yeah. From which the ancient Ashanti and related West Africans evolved. Yeah. But let's read more. He adds it was the continuous influx of Hebrew settlers trekking up the Nile the Nile, which eventually spread itself across Africa to Niger River and then pretty much the whole of West Africa, the Guinean coast. So once again, we have all this proof. They know who we are. Yeah, that's in the scholastic sources, or you want to call it scholastic books or whatnot. All these books saying the same thing. There is a connection between colonialism and the construction of Israelite uh, communities. Very often the colonists, and particularly the missionaries, they were ignorant people, very often from simple working class backgrounds. And the only ethnography that they knew, the only book that they knew, was the Bible. And on the colonial frontier, what they very, very often discovered was that people seemed to be doing things in the same way that they did it in the Bible. And so systematically throughout Africa, among the Zulus, among the Corsa among the Igbo and the Tutsi and so on, they kept finding traces, so they thought, of an ancient Judaism which had trickled down through Africa and finished up in the... Oh no, I'm not finished. We're going to read The Slave Trade by Huge Thomas. Yeah? And it's a huge book as well, as you can see. <laughs> yeah? Let's see what they have to say. If y'all think I'm trying to only use books that's talking about the black Israelite. Let's see what the regular white people that do history have to say. In page 146, 147. Yeah. Check what it has to say. A Dominican friar, Fray Francisco de la Cruz, told the Inquisition in Lima that an angel had told him that the blacks are 
justly captive by reason of the sin of their forefathers. Hmm, interesting. Check this out now. And that because of that sin, God gave them that color. So they like to add lies. Yeah, because if we read Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, we know that man is literally made from the dust of the ground. The ground is brown. But anyway, the Dominican explained that the black people were descended from the tribe of Asher. He must have meant Issachar. And they were so warlike and indomitable that they would upset everyone if they were allowed to live free. So, for those who don't know, Issachar and Asher are his or like tribes. Yeah? And for those who do know, that makes a clear cut to this false 12 tribe chart that I've exposed on my YouTube channel anyway. Yeah? But once again, these people know who we are. They know. They have this information. They're not dumb. They know. Yeah. But stay tuned on my YouTube channel and I will expose more. Uh, how do we know Jesus wasn't black? He could have been from the lost tribe of Israel. They were supposed to be black. I bet they were. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> picture has been in my family for as long as I can remember. When I was a baby, I don't know what I saw first. My mama, my papa, or this Jesus. Now, he's the one I know and love, so let's close the subject. Jesus was black. The Bible would have said so. But it does say so. What are you talking about? Uh, I read about it. Um, it's in Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. I read about it in the Muhammad Speaks. It says, um... Oh, his hair is like wool and his eyes are like flame of fire oh lord have mercy <laughs>